starts now. Good evening, I'm Lee Zurich. And I'm Meg Gatto. New Orleans City Council Vice President J.P. Morrell sends a letter to Mayor Cantrell telling her he may file a motion to institute eviction proceedings if she doesn't clear out personal belongings and turn over the keys to a Pantalba apartment by Monday. He says he's tried to work with the mayor's staff on gaining control of a unit which the council voted to take from the mayor last summer. Rob Masson has more. Just showing your dedication and your commitment. On a day when Mayor LaToya Cantrell bounced from an NOPD graduation to the grand reopening of the Dew Drop Inn, she did not want to talk about the Pentalba. Terry, off, off topic for the mayor. Um, we, we cannot do that, Rob. We, we're due at the Dew Drop Inn. There was no comment on a federal investigation into her use of the Pentalba apartment and possible payroll violations for her security officer, Jeffrey Vappi. You know, with everything that's going on right now in City Hall and all of the other business that's going on, I think I think it's important for the mayor to go ahead and just clear this apartment, just, just clear this issue. Back in August, the New Orleans City Council voted to permanently remove the apartment from the mayor's control with a veto override after our Outside the Office series of investigations. I think for a lot of council members and the public, the fact that you immediately see it saw it revert to personal use with no public purpose is what really was the straw that broke the camel's back. But six months after that council vote, the Pentalba apartment remains under the mayor's control. After Fox 8's Lee Zurich inquired about the matter Wednesday, City Council Member J.P. Morrell sent Cantrell this letter asking her to release the apartment. That letter says, it is my understanding that you and members of your executive protection detail possess the only keys to the unit. Until the keys are turned over, FMC cannot begin the repairs necessary to release the unit. The letter states, we have tried for several months to work with members of the administration, but to date, those efforts have proven fruitless. We passed the ordinance months ago. I mean, obviously, we need to get the, the unit back in commerce. You know, the law is very clear in this situation. I think this is just, this is simply a situation of, of people, uh, you know, ignoring the law, we don't know if it was intentional or if it's just it's just an oversight. Council Member Morell's letter goes on to say that if I do not hear back from you with confirmation that the handover is complete by March 4th at noon, then I have little choice but to file a motion to bring this matter to resolution, including a directive that the city attorney institute eviction and or mandamus proceedings. Madam Mayor, can I get a moment to ask We're you about the proposal? The the mayor has acknowledged receipt of Morell's letter, but it's not known if she's turned over the keys. And Council Member Morell's letter says he had hoped to avoid public escalation of this issue. Morell says the council can't continue to do nothing when the requirements of the law are clear.